This is Kevin McCloskey. I am standing here with Western Alamance's newest Division I <laughs> college football FBS Power 5 Conference, North Carolina Tar Heel, Hunter Lennon. Hunter, first of all, congratulations. What an honor. Thank you. I'm going to start off with a question, Hunter, just to get this out of the way because people are asking me and I want to make sure everything is clear. Exactly what is going on with North Carolina? What's your situation there? I understand it's a preferred walk-on spot right now. What does that mean and what does the future hold? Uh, well, there's a difference between a regular on walk-on and a preferred walk-on. Preferred walk-on means you'll most, not most likely, definitely get a scholarship, but the odds are better of getting a scholarship for preferred walk-on compared to a regular on walk-on. Walk-on's like, just like someone that goes to the school and then they played football in high school and they're like, oh, I want to try out for the team. So you're, you're, you're going to be a true participating member of the team, and basically if you work hard and do well, you're going to be a scholarship player yes, within sir. a few years. Yes, three times there. So that's great. Second question is, here at Western Alamance, Hunter Lent played three positions, primarily punter, also played tight end, or H-back extremely well in the Western Alamance offense, and this most recently in his senior year played uh, defensive line. So people are asking me, Kevin, where's Hunter going to play at Carolina? I know it's going to be punter, but why don't you explain that process a little bit? Uh, well, I had a lot of, I had a couple offers to play tight end at lower division schools, and I tried to keep my options open and for some bigger schools to come in. But I uh, didn't, didn't really get a scholarship for a bigger program. But Carolina offered me the preferred walk-on. But I would most likely be able to hold, which me and Carolina does a lot of swinging gate and uh, like trick plays and stuff. So that will kind of help out in, in that aspect of the game. Hold the so maybe you could open up, use some of your other skills for catching, uh, for, for holding and or, or punting on trick plays, like you said, never yeah. with H-back swinging out of the pass it or a tight end. Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about, you mentioned some other schools. Hunter's recruitment was a little bit different, people, to say the least. He chuckles, but I'm sure at one time, actually for several months, he wasn't chuckling because it was very stressful for him and his parents. Every time I see him, you know, what's going on? Things were changing. Smaller schools came calling for different positions. I remember in particular being down on the sidelines for an early game this year. Wofford was here. I believe Wofford did offer you at some point. Yes. Who else offered you, and how did it play out? I know during basketball season, once I talked to you, you were talking about Minnesota, and Marshall, and other places way far away, and you end up right down the road 30 miles in Chapel Hill. So tell us about who, who was recruiting you and how things transpired to get to Chapel Hill. Um, well, the first offer I got was from Wofford, uh, the Terriers, and then the second offer came from Charleston Southern, which plays in it's the same division as Wofford and then kind of kept my office open, kept looking at other schools and things like that. And then Charleston Southern offer went away because other guys committed before I had the chance to. And then um, kind of down the road a little bit more, uh, I was talking to Minnesota and they were offering a preferred walk-on. And then I was talking to Auburn, uh, that was just going to be a preferred walk-on as well. But uh, things didn't really pan out with those schools. And then out of the blue comes Marshall. Um, Remember that. That was during the middle of basketball season. Yeah. That a win or you're going up to Marshall to, to check things out. And uh, I went up for a visit up there. They're offering a preferred walk-on. And then uh, when I was there, it was actually it was actually snowing. When I was up <laughs> while we were walking around campus, it was snowing. And then the thing is, before I went up there, uh, the Thursday before we went up Saturday, that Thursday, I got offered from Carolina to have a preferred walk-on, and uh, just continued, and then I uh, just felt at home at Carolina, and just chose the heels. Yeah, so that's going to work out well. So like I said, it was a very stressful process, and things, you know, usually people signing day, officially signing day, which we held a ceremony today where Hunter signed, signing day is actually the first Wednesday in February, I believe, so this is drug out a little bit longer, but it worked out for the best for you. Okay, Hunter, let's shift gears for a second and not talk about football, but let's talk about academics. I understand from your mother, you're not going to get much of a break. As soon as you, not, pretty much after you walk out the door graduation at Western Alamance, you're going to be heading to Chapel Hill. Yeah. Why so early? What's going on there? Uh, well, I'm taking uh, summer school so I can get some hours in before football season starts uh, so I can get some hours done and then don't have to kind of cram during football season so I have some more free time and not so many classes to worry about. But... Uh, yeah, I'm moving in the 16th or 18th of June, and orient I'm going to orientation the 8th and 9th of June, and then uh, school starts on June 22nd. Yeah. And so when do you actually graduate from Western? 
the 10th, I've said somewhere in between all that. Now, your mother also said you've already been in contact with who's going to be your roommate, somebody from California, I believe, yes, right? Yes, it's the long snapper. So, so sometimes that, that's going to work out well. Now, have you thought about a field of study at Carolina, or are you going to take it and let's see how things progress? Uh, kind of see how things go, but I like working with little kids and uh, I like coaching, so maybe like teaching or coaching or something. Oh, great. It sounds like you're really paying the head, and I know it's going to work out well for you. Now, Hunter, let's reflect back on your high school career. We're, we're standing here in front of, of the field here. What are some, just whatever pops in your head, what are some of your more fond memories of playing out here at Western Alamance? Uh, just hanging out with the guys. That was a really fun part. I'm at the uh, end of games, everybody coming on the field and having the uh, circle. And then after games with Kevin, having the... Uh, player of the games or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, the seniors <laughs> I remember the seniors we all we messed around with each other on the, the uh, last game yeah if you haven't seen that it's in the come on man video where they uh, the seniors uh, did uh, quite a comedy show for us and we appreciated that and Hunter we do appreciate what you've done for this school we do wish you the best now we know most of most of your family everybody's a Carolina fan some of us are but I'm gonna go ahead and every every player that I've worked with over the years I've asked them to do two things for me remember what those were you've ever seen any interviews no, I can't. Okay, I say, I say, ask them, when you go to college, when you get your team or, you know, your, your photo made with your, your, your jersey on and stuff, I want an autographed picture of you because okay. you might make it to the NFL one day and I might need some, you know, something I can sell on eBay. No, just keeping it, hold it forever. And then also a t-shirt, a practice jersey, practice t-shirt, something that's torn up, not dirty and stinky, but something you're going to throw away. Give it to me. So even if I were to say, Kevin, what are you doing wearing a Carolina shirt? I say, well, that's because of my friend Hunter. <laughs> so I'll even do that for you. So. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.